The young woman flee Morocco after being threatened with beheading for wearing shorts. Well, not a that escalated so just for wearing beheading for wearing shirts okay three teenage girls have fled morocco after a local uh, school teacher said he wanted their heads cut off for wearing shorts the girls were volunteering to help build a road in the village of adar when the teacher who has since been arrested made the vile comments he posted on social media that the young women were not respecting the muslim faith and said he wanted to teach them a lesson before threatening them with beheading wow so you had these three women coming to help they were volunteering they were trying to build a road in your village and instead of looking at the help that you were doing for your village you just noticed that they were wearing shorts and instead of thanking them, you threaten them with beheading. Holy fuck. And they ran away like, you know, fuck this village. They're like, fuck your road. We're out of yeah. here. It's <laughs> not fuck the village because it, it was just that one man. Everyone else is condemning that one man. Right. Everyone else is saying like, what a shitty person he was. And right. They were really helpful. I mean, more people. Uh, I feel bad for Morocco because Morocco is actually pretty, you know, laid back compared to other Muslim Islamic countries. It's relatively safe, and people are chill over there. They're, it's more secular relative to other Islamic countries, right? And they yeah, don't... even 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 the girls said that they really enjoyed their stay in Morocco. It was just that one man, right? And he got arrested, right, for the threats. So, yeah, he got arrested. But this is going to, I mean, Morocco really needs tourism right now. And this is going to, this is really going to hurt them, right? Because, um, but yeah, I mean, good thing he was arrested. What the fuck? Like, imagine like looking at three women trying to help your village. And the first thing you're like, oh, I, and imagine how pathetic and weak your religion has to be that is being threatened by women wearing shirts. But what was his exact wording? He said that not respecting the Muslim faith. I mean, you're the the way you're embarrassing the Muslim faith is actually way worse. With what you do to the reputation of the Muslim faith is way worse than what these gr girls did with their shirts. Anyways, good thing that he was arrested. Again, Morocco does get a you know this is an, they they also had some just recently. This year, I think it was, where some tourists were beheaded. And these are very rare for Morocco. But they're, they're capturing a lot of negative news at a time where Morocco really does need some more tourism. Um, let me see what the top comment is. Pan is saying, when you go abroad... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, look at what this what our atheist community thinks okay okay this is what the atheist republic top comment is but to be fair it's a top comment because it got a lot of angry and laughing reactions not because it got likes or hearts so pan is saying when you go abroad show respect for the culture and traditions symbols no fuck your cultures and fuck your rules if you have shitty rules what what that that that's one thing. And second of all, this wasn't even there. This is Morocco, okay? This was not, it's an Islamic country. It's not Saudi Arabia. You don't, there's nothing that you needed to respect. These women were not, you know, this, everyone, like, like Shopam said, everybody else other than that, this idiot teacher was okay with what they were doing. So Pan, you have no fucking idea what you're talking about when you say that. Also, way to blame, you know, switch the blame on the, on the people uh, on the wrong side what do you think Shopam? how would you say to pan uh i mean fuck cultures if it's shitty culture yeah I fuck mean, culture. as long as you are not uh, actively disturbing people uh you're fine you're not uh, exactly disrespecting anyone if you're not actually happening with what they do on their daily basis right. and it was not like it's not like it's Morocco's culture. I mean, they're yeah. pretty laid back, like you said. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, uh, also, ev everyone is okay with them. Everyone is thanking them for their help, and everyone is saying shit about this man who uh, threatened them 
with bearding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Penny, I have no idea what you're talking about. Then, yeah, <laughs> you need more hair reacts on your comment. <laughs> um, re, uh, Andrew saying I went to Morocco and they were more than hospitable. Yeah, Morocco is actually pretty nice for tourism. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.